Little Red Riding Hood, retold by Karim Mogler, is Shara Fedeleev. Fuck your question, how do Red's choice affect the story? Once upon a time, there are a girl and many people called Little Red Riding Hood. Those closest to her just called her Red. One day, Red's mom asked her to take some cake to Grandma, who was not well, but quickly drew the goose. Do not leave the path and do not talk to a stranger, Mom says. Just as Rex entered the woods, Drew, she met Worf. Red didn't know what a weak creature he was, so she didn't know to fear him. Where are you going, child? Worf asked with a smile. To Grandma's, Red replied. What have you got in your basket? Worf asked. Grandma's not feeling well. Red explained, so I'm talking to her some cake. Wolf nodded and grinned, but his stomach rumbled. He drew the he would eat grandma for lunch and right for dessert. To catch them both through, he knew her he must act quickly. Where does grandma live? asked Wolf, further on the woods, under the two large of our trees. Red says, Have you noticed the pretty flowers all around you? Wolf asked, if I were you, I'd pick a bunch for Grandma. Red looked about her. The flowers were pretty indeed. She bent down to pick one. Have a nice visit, cried Wolf, and he hurried away. Red left the path to pick flowers. While she picked, Wolf sprinted straight to Grandma's house and knocked on the door. Who's there? Calls Grandma, lying sick in her bed. It's Red, called Wolf in a high, sweet voice. Leave the latch and come in, called out Grandma. Worf lifted the latch, went straight to Grandma's breast, and swallowed her word. Then he dressed himself in her clothes, put on her cap, and climbed to her bed. When Red had picked enough flowers, she set out again for Grandma's house. The doors were open when she arrived. Red went straight to the bed, when she saw the very strange sight indeed. Oh, Grandma, Red cried. What big ears you have! All the better to heal you with child. Worf says, Oh, Grandma! Red cried. What big eyes you have! All the better to see you with child. Worf says, Oh, Grandma! Red cried. What a big terrible mouth you have! All the better to eat you with. Worf roared. With one bout, he leaped out of bed and swallowed up bread, flowers, and cake, and all. The wolf lay down again on the bed and drive off to sleep. It was dark inside. Wolf, but Red, managed to reach down and squeeze Grandma's hand. Grandma squeezed back. Red could make out a weak light leaning down. Wolf rose. He was snoring with his mouth open, inch by inch. Red left a bunch of flowers. She took a wolf's throat until she started to cough. She took a wolf's throat one, twice, thrice. He coughed one, twice, thrice. She kept on tickling until he coughed her up. When at last he did, Red helped tie to peel Grandma's hand and put her out too. They fastened Wolf still sleeves to Grandma's bed. Then Grandma and Red, Red sat down for tea and cake. When Wolf awoke from his nap, you can be sure he didn't get any. Glossary, bound, a big jump forward, sprint. Ran as fast as possible, usually for a short stem. Stranger, unfamiliar or unknown people, swallow, cause or other something shoots up food of liquid to pass through the mouth, down the throat, and into the stomach. Tickle, cause or have in a retis or comfortable feeling on the part of the body. Weak, very mean or bad. Connection, writing. How might the story be different if Red didn't stop to pick the flowers? Read the paragraph describe how the story was changed. She shall study. Does the story take place in a sovereign rural or city setting? How do you know? Share ideas with a partner.